Welcome. We are going to play through Roland Wright. Roland Wright is a Roland Wright game where you make games with bits. I just call them, I think they call them bits. But yeah, so this is going to be a quick playthrough slash rules for solo play. So giving these yellow cards a quick shuffle. These are my inspiration. You get one of those and it's going to give you um, a little kind of goal as you build your map. What two colors in combination can kind of any two that are together by each other. You're going to score points for those at the end. I have noticed that those don't give you a lot of points. So inspiration is fine, but it's not the best thing ever. And we're going to set out three awards, which are things I can try to focus on. Let me get so we can see those a little bit better. So the first one we have is most developed. So this one, we're going to get a lot of bonus victory points at the end if for doing purple cards which are the research and development down there then the next one is best all around for every set of each of the six colors we'll get some bonuses some victory points man I cannot get this to focus so yeah so we're looking for three sets of the rainbow and they don't have to be like near each other or anything it's just what we have in the box and then this is completed green cards this is gonna be hard to juggle my favorite is the blue equipment cards because you get those started early and that's going to help you like chain more things let me erase this ticker from the last game and so we're going to, part of the setup, we're going to draw three of the green cards and pick one. Um, we like blue and purple together. So I'll just go for a game arc. So these green cards, which are the hallmark cards, they score you just victory points at the, at the end if you can get them during the game. And then we're going to do some equipment cards and here you're just looking at the pattern you can make but I'm reading what benefits I'm going to be getting from these ones so if I do the mirror it'll place a bit that matches the dice you use this turn okay and then uh, a peacock it allows me to place a blue or a green bit and then a lawnmower Place up to two green bits connected to one another. That's a lot. Two green bits in one turn. This is really good to go for. So I'm going to try for that one. I think getting one of these early is pretty good. Because you only get one action at the end of each round to... Uh, perform a task. Oh, I've got some other leftover info on here. I thought I erased all that. Okay. Now it looks like my boards are cleared. So I'm just going to explain things as I go as I do the playthrough. So let's play it over um, 20 rounds. So we got six rounds and then a maintenance phase, another six rounds and a maintenance phase, and then seven rounds. And then you'll tally up your points. So let's just roll. We group the dice in um i'll do it here in the middle by color but you can only have a maximum of three of the same color in one group everything after that you have to make another group so the first thing you do is pick one of your groups to put onto the solo board well the very first thing i'm supposed to be doing is marking off the day so we'll mark off today and it doesn't matter what color you mark it off in. So, 
Um, placing on here, I'll just go as I see the colors. These give you bonuses or prevent negative things happening to you. And I find that the game is, makes for tough decisions on that. You really don't like a game that will take things away from you, and this one will. So at the end of the first week, when you get to the maintenance phase, if you don't have six, the number six here in the in the yellow, you will lose one of your dice for the rest of the game. If you don't, uh, you'll get an, hopefully get a number in the orange, and the orange number will. You have to roll the dice three times, and you have to prevent. Uh, you'll reduce this by the number of dice you roll in the maintenance phase. And if this hits zero you lose a card you've completed and if you don't have any completed cards over here helping you then you'll lose a card that you're trying to achieve so it's pretty brutal the green and the blue are the same thing if you put green or blue and uh, they correspond to their decks and you'll draw that many extra cards when you perform that action at the end of your turn you'll get to look at that many extra cards and choose one so normally it's three if i have a two here or two here I would draw five of that color and then in the purple dice uh, you can spend any number you have there to get a reroll on a die and the red one allows you just to change the face of a die so yeah getting three yellow right away is pretty good and then I can place two orange I only have one orange here this one is kind of a long-term goal um, I don't worry about getting this taken care of right away but you know what can you do so i think i'm gonna have to do i'm gonna do the three here for this and then i'm going to do um let's see if i build this one i'll probably build it out this way like big dipper style so this will give me room to work over here i will just put the orange bit there and I'll put this other orange bit here for no particular reason. So this was used for here, this was used for here, and now at the end of the phase I can spend one of these bits by erasing it and then performing that action. And here you have all the different actions you can do by erasing a bit. When I played the first couple times, I did, barely did any erasing. I only performed these actions when um, I needed to make room for a pattern or something. So I'm not gonna erase the orange one because all it does is move it. So I would move one of the ones that I've already put and I'm not interested in doing that right now. So now we move on to day two. And it's kind of a slow start for the game. I feel like the first round can go pretty slow pretty um, slow you're not really building your engine up very well so we got two blue I do need the two blue so I'll probably want to place those and I definitely don't want to lose a die at the end so it's kind of a high priority it's better than changing a face or re-rolling but I do need to start building up my orange too so but I'm gonna use the yellow and it doesn't matter what color I use here to write this in, but this will go up to four. I need to get to that to six each round. Well, for the first two rounds. And then I'm going to place the blues. And I'm going to start getting that. Looks like a little dipper to me. They call it a lawnmower. Get this in. And again, I am not, um, I'm not performing any actions. So... Um, I could erase one of the blues now to draw three cards and pick one to try to get more equipment, but I'm not interested in that right now. So we're going to tick off day three and go back to rolling. Off the table. Oh, that's a lot of purple. Nice. Okay, so here we can place the three purple and then put a purple there because it's in two separate groups so um yeah i, mean, I notice i don't get a lot of um hold on 
So I'm still recording. Okay. I don't get a lot of yellows. So I, they haven't popped up for me in the past when I've needed them. So I'm a little, that bums me out a little. So I'm going to use that yellow there to add that. And then I'm going to place the purples. So I'm going to get the one I need for the equipment first. So green's going to go there. I'll put the first purple there. And then I'll add two more purple. And that's pretty good. But I think it might be a good time to actually spend one. So I am going to spend one of my actions. Erasing the purple bit there. And that's going to allow me to draw one from the research and development. So let's see what we get. So this is going to allow me to place a green or an orange and um, a green and orange or just take the victory point. This does feed into this. So um, I need the points here to use those. Now the first time I played this game I had my engine running where I had an action that was allowing me to draw these all the time. I feel like it's going to take a lot for me to to get points on that but um i don't really i do need the green i don't need the orange but i will i will place both the bits actually so i'm going to go for the green one and then i'm going to take an orange one and i'm going to put this orange one in this corner so down here if you fill in one of the sides one of the tops the top or bottom or one of the di full diagonals you get uh, an extra bonus bit and that can kind of cascade so that's nice so let's do the next turn now feel like I do want to I have a couple more turns for that so let's place the let's get one orange on the board and then I'll place the two greens and that'll give me the lawnmower so I can start filling in some greens. Place up to two bits. Place up to two green bits connected to one another. That's a lot. And that'll help me draw more green cards, which I do need for this one. So let's do that. So I will connect I'll put two green connected ones. One here and one here. We'll see what we get when we draw. Because now I'll start using those to, to draw more green cards. Hopefully. And then... Okay. And then that's that turn. So we will go on to turn five. A lot of capping and uncapping the pens in this game. Oh my gosh. I've never had so many yellows. And two oranges. Okay. So I am going to hopefully roll a yellow next round or I'm totally screwed so I'm gonna make this actually this was a one I'm going to get my sixth yellow here with the one yellow and then I'm gonna place those three yellows so one two and then I'm going to put one here. Mm, yeah. Because what I can do with this is I can do that to change it to purple on a turn that I need to. And I don't have to do that now. I can do that way later because this just needs to be done by the end of the game. So I'm going to use my one of these greens to draw green cards. So I draw three. 
And then I keep one of them. So this pattern looks like something I might be able to pull off. This one might be a little harder. And this one might be a little harder. And I'm placing green bits too, so that's kind of what I'm thinking. So I will take this stimulus plan. Let's go and discard pile. That's just discard piles up there. You don't retrieve from there. And then I will go into my last turn. Turn six of this week. Two purples, which is, well, kind of what I need. Um, I'll add the orange down there. and Hopefully I won't lose this card. So this becomes a two. I will place a purple here. And then I'll just throw the other purple down here. Out of the way. Okay. I need to be putting purples by blues for points. Oh yeah, I see that. That's pretty close to actually being done already. So, and once you score these, then you can use the bits on them to, like if I score this one, then I can use the bits off the board, and I, I don't lose points. I still captured this card, so that's nice. Um, okay, so I just put my two purples down, and then I think I'm going to use this action here to place the two. Oh, I need to have them connected. So it won't, they won't be connected. So maybe, um, let's change the yellow. We'll do the yellow ability and change yellow to purple. So we got the game arc. We matched the pattern right there. And then we will get this banked. I'm just going to have these off screen. Any of the equipment ones, I'll try to cheat onto the screen. But um, these ones, you're just supposed to slide them under your mat anyways. So I'm just going to slide it under my mat here. You can kind of see them floating there. And then uh, now we do the end of the phase maintenance. So I'm not going to lose a die because I have six and I have six. So that's good. But now... For the next week, I got to get to six again. Now we need to roll, and hopefully, I don't roll any oranges in three rolls. Wow, that's awesome. All right, one roll. Now we need to dodge it for two more rolls. Oh, there's one, so now it's negative one, so that stays over there. Now, as long as I don't roll another orange. Okay, it did. So that means I actually lose this. You know, a good question is. When you lose this in solo mode, does it not count towards completed cards? This game's brutal in solo, so I'm going to say that it's still going to count as completed because I did complete it. But I'm not going to be able to use its ability, which is harsh enough. Okay, so now we go on to the next week. So that got reduced to zero. And so now I've got nothing on that board. I've banked five points. This is going to be a brutal game. Which I would have recorded in my last game. I got like, I think I had like 81 total, which is decent, respectable. Okay, so we're still holding on to six dice, which is nice. I think I need to get a new equipment card. So two blues, two greens, a yellow, and an orange. Now I don't think I'm going to worry too much about losing a dice. I don't want to lose any more cards cards especially the five i banked so i'm going to put one there for orange and then i'm going to take the two green and place them and i want one down here and then i'm going to want one up here so you can spin this around and as long as it matches you just can't invert it on this one it doesn't matter because this and this i believe it would be, this would be inverting it. So if I am going to get it correct because um, 
it'll match this way. You just can't. I can't flip it over this way. I can't have the blue, the blue and the green flip there or there. So this will still work as long as it looks the same. Um, you can even have it sideways as long as it matches. As long as you don't invert it on itself. Some of them are six of the same colors, so that wouldn't matter. But okay, so am I doing an action? Because I just placed the two green ones I needed. I need one more blue. And the actions I have now would be two. The actions I have now would be to erase a bit. So I don't have my green engine up. But let's see if we can go Hallmark card crazy. I don't think I'm going to get enough purples. So we'll draw three more of these. And, you know, sometimes you get lucky. And just the pattern's already there. Not really. Orange, green, blue seems to be what my thing is kind of full of already. This is going to be hard to get no matter what. I have the two... I have two green in place. I'd have to go that way. I'll try that one. What I really need is an equipment card. Let me just go into the discard pile. And now we'll move on to the second day of the second week. A lot of pins opening and closing. Opening and closing pins a lot in this game. Alright, so we're going to group. We got two green. I didn't get the blue one I wanted. Um, I mean, if I'm going to keep drawing green cards, I can put that there. But I think I'm going to... Oh, this is brutal. I guess I'll put the two green here these are going to go away at the end of the maintenance phase and let's try to place the I guess we'll place another orange one so if I've got my two green there I'm going to try to put two blue there and two orange here and then I try to get another one there alright and now an action what should I do for my action on this one? I keep erasing things, and you're gonna you need to fill in the board to get six points at the end. If if your board is filled at the end of the game, you do get six points. It seemed easier in other games I've played of this, where I had more of an engine up and running. This is this is a great example of how savage this game can be. So let me go to the. I'm just not gonna do. See, I do want to fill that one in. All right, let's erase this purple one, actually, and see what we get off of the purple deck. Place a blue. So I can place the blue there and just complete this outright, or I can score the two points. I'm going to score the two points. Two, so you either get one or two points in there. I don't know if there's a three. There's a lot of ones. And then there's some twos. So, let's do that. Oh, there's a lot of green. Wowzers. Um, there's a blue I need, too. Yellow and purple. I am going to... Put a yellow up here, or the purple up there. And then I'm going to place the three green dots. So I'm going to put one here. One here. And one here. Okay. So that's going to allow me to this claim the bottom row. So I'm going to fill in the bottom row and that's going to allow me to fill in this guy. And that'll complete this. So bank that. And now this row's full. So now I can claim that. And I think I'm going to do it in the orange color to 
get this other orange here. Forgetting the sidewall. And that's a nice touch. I feel like because you, you're, it's harder to build off the sides. So especially the two for the sides, it's a nice bonus to get that extra. Okay, and this is where I get confused. Now, did I do an action? Um, I don't believe I did because I placed my three and then I did the two bonus ones. So I'm going to erase a green. And I'll erase this one I just did. I need to get some red on there because I need to get all the colors and I'm missing some reds. So that'll be important for the for closer to the end of this. Um, so I erased a green. Now I get to draw three plus two. So I'll get to draw five off of the green deck. One, two, three, four, five. Now, am I close to anything like this? This could happen if I go back to that purple one right there. I've got two purples and an orange. I can use a purple and then fill in the blues there. I need a lot of blues now. That one is the most likely so far. Three orange, two purple, and a yellow. That's a tough one. And then three, well, the six greens and all diagonals. So I've got one, two, three there. So then I'd have to go one, two, three here. That seems even easier to do than this one. So I'll just hold on to that for now. Just out of the ease of that one. All right, now on to day three of week two. There's a bunch of yellow. Did I need yellow? I don't think I did. I need two blue, which I do not have. And I need to build up my orange a lot more. So I'm going to tough. It's very tough. Cause these can all be done at the end of the game, really. So let's do a three there. Maybe we will save that dice. Maybe we'll get lucky. And I'm gonna place a red just to start building towards the rainbow. Now, is there an action I wanna perform? So I don't wanna take away those three green. They're building towards something. So I'm gonna take away this green all the way over here. Well, I still have that green bonus. Draw five more. Okay. These are hard to get too. So I don't have much red on the board. I do have the start of this, but that's going to eat into the other thing I'm trying to build. I do have a lot of blue there. Yellows, that one's not going to happen. That one's probably not going to happen. I'll just take this one. It's kind of a long shot but could work. All right, that's the end of that. Now on to, I keep doing this in blue just so it doesn't annoy anybody. Day four, week two. I can imagine, yeah, I'll use random colors there whenever, but two blues, I need that, and the three orange. All right, I'm taking this orange up to four because I don't want to lose any cards I've scored and then I'll get the two blue I need to score a card so if I put them one here and one here oh I've cheated I did it I inverted it so actually the two blues would need to be on the bottom here so I'm going to just since I just did that and I caught it before it became Multiple steps to go back. The joys of a solo game. Okay. Just, I see it. Spot it. As it's happening. Go whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, I won't go back any farther. Because I really probably should pick something else to do. But I won't. So I'm going to um, still place the blues. 
just gonna pick a different spot for them. It's like a chess piece. I didn't take it off. I didn't take my fingers off. I took my fingers. My fingers are still on the pen. Does that count? Still have my finger on the pen. So I'm gonna place one of the blues I need right there. And then I need to get it one there. But for now, since a lot of clumpy stuff is showing up, yes, I can start building towards that. So I'm going to need to take that green spot eventually, which is fine. I do need to do that. So I'll take that. And then um, I can erase that orange that's in the way. So we'll use that. And that'll allow me to move something now. And I think I'm going to move, because I'm going to need that spot there. And I need that green where I just put that blue. But we're going to we're gonna get there anyways. I'm going to move this green to where I will need it eventually, which is right here. Oh, no, wait, I don't want to do that. I need that to finish this. So um, let's erase. Nope, that's part of that too. Oh, boy. Okay. Let's erase this green because it's not doing anything for me. God, please don't tell me you're doing anything for me. And move it to where it should be, which is going to be here or here. So for now, I'll put it in this one. Okay. Action done. So on to day five of week two going pretty well actually it's not it's going horribly but i'm having fun showing you guys this game and getting my last playthrough of it before i'm actually getting rid of it so it's tough but i just after this playthrough i don't know if i'm going to get it to the table so um let's let's spend my reroll. why not who cares Reroll. um i think i'm going to place the blues so i can start finishing these quests and then so I need a utility die here um, the greens really are not helping me uh, I'll reroll this I'm hoping for a yellow or a blue I'll take the blue okay so I used that and now I get to place three blues so this one now this is officially complete we see the two greens, diagonal, two blues, diagonal, two oranges. So cha-ching on that. And then um, that was one. So now I get to place two more blues. And I'm, now I'm going to work towards this home plate here. And um, we're going to place this one here and this one here. And then I'm just going to color that in for, for fun just to make sure it looks more done. Um, I really want to be getting more equipment cards because you need that other option. I'm just burning bits. So I placed, but I still need to do the board. And I'm going to bump up this to four. There's, if I get two more yellows, I might as well just do that and do my two more yellows, which would get me... what I need so I'm going to burn an orange and now I will move this already scored green which I need to make room for a blue for and move it here so I can get rid of that blue one and then finish this other card and now I can finish hopefully both cards there and I'm looking to do five total so I've got three so if I do finish those two, I've, I've maxed out that. And actually, if I count, you know, I'd like to do it so I don't have to count that one. So I do want to get, I'm going to get both those done anyways. I don't get to score that one regardless. But now that'll put it beyond reproach. Let's say just beyond reproach. Um, so the next time I moved up one for my action this time. Next time on my action... I am going to want to draw. Let's see if I can't get one more equipment card before the end of the game and complete it and use it for a couple turns. 
Okay, I didn't get any yellows, so I am going to lose a die. Um, did I need greens? No, not right now. I did not need any greens, so that's terrible. Um, I do want to get a red onto the board, so maybe I'll do red onto the board. And then, um, gr green on there isn't going to do anything for me unless I... I don't want a green one on there. I will add another reroll. Bank a reroll for later. I hope I don't pay for that because if I roll four oranges, I'm going to be in big trouble. Okay, now I can just only place another red. So I'm hoping for the rainbow. So I think I have two rainbows now because I've got. I always look for the one that I have the least of. So it looks like I have um, only two reds, two or oh three oranges, and two yellows. So I need to bump up my reds and yellows if I'm if I'm going to hit the one more rainbow here. So all right, and now um, so I placed my red bit, I placed my purple bit, and then now I get to do an action if I want to do an action. I don't know if I do. This would be the last turn on this week where I would get to take advantage of having drawing five of these. So, but I also can maybe move this using an orange later. I think I'm going to burn the blue where I want to put that green and then um, try for a quick equipment card. Wow, these are tough. I don't want to draw any more of those. This is placing bits, which is nice. So I've got the two reds diagonal there. And I'd have to put two yellows and two oranges down, which is going to be hard at this point. So this is two oranges, which I only have so many greens. That's not very good either. Does, is this even on there? No, I'll just take this one and we'll see what happens. But I don't think anything is going to happen with that one. Let me take a drink of water here. Time out. All right, pardon that. All right, so now we have to do the end of the phase. So I only had four yellows, so I am going to lose a die. You lose the die before you roll for the orange which is nice. So now we got one, we set that aside. So that was one roll, second roll. And as long as I don't roll two more oranges, whew, three, okay. So that was the third roll, roll three. Now you do reduce this number by that many because you are gonna score points for everything that you have left in this one by the end of the game. So that is worth one point at the end of the game right now. These are all worth the points, but this one you reset, this one you lower, this one you reset, and this one you reset. The purple and the reds carry throughout the game. But those are your most, those have the most utility because the red ones you can change the face and a purple one you can re-roll. And those are the two things you want to do the most in a roll in a dice game. However, I haven't been rolling many reds at all. So I'm going to put this back in the box so I don't get it mixed up. And then we're going to go on to day 13 or day one of week three. However you want to look at it. There's reds. Reds are going to start coming out at the end of the game. So I need to get that green one right there to score, which is nice. I, I don't have to burn another. But I also have other things going on. So I'm going to just start, I guess, grinding up some points here. So let's take that up to three with the purples. Let's score this green card just to get it done. Now we can maybe erase some stuff and do some other things. If I want to try to get, it says, uh, it's a, a hen. She's going to lay me some gold or orange eggs <laughs> as in bits, whatever. Okay. <laughs> um, I could 
let's burn a purple. Because I don't need the purple for anything. Let's burn a perp, purple here. And um, just draw one of these. So I can place a blue and a green dot. So let's place the blue dot and score this home plate. And then I get to lay down another green dot. And I'm going to start building up this way. So here I'm going to want a yellow, a yellow, an orange, and an orange. So I don't want to get in the way of that. So let's just start building up that way. And then uh, use this so it goes in the discard pile. And then we're on to the next round. So day 14. There's a red. The reds are showing up now, but trickling in, trickling in. So I need a place. I do need a place of yellow. So it's one of the yellow ones I need for you. Okay, so first thing I'll do is do red there. Place my yellow one here. And so that's that. So I did those two. Okay, and now an ability. Do I want to erase? Do I want more equipment or scoring points here? I want to keep my purples because now I have three yellows. I want to get one more red on the board and get my full 10 points there. So I'm going to use a, a blue and see if there's another equipment card I can get that maybe I already have looking good on the board. Don't want three orange anywhere. I red has been a nightmare. This is kind of funky. So two diagonals and a purple. Diagonal purple. And then a green leading away from the diagonals. So it could be that, those two, and then it'd have to be over there, and then an orange. So purple, oh, I need a green there, and a green there, a green there, and an orange. I'm trying to get an orange there. I'll just hold on to that one and see what happens. It's playing connect the dots at this point, I guess. So I burned a blue to look at that, and that makes that the end of my turn. So, man, this is nothing exciting is happening here now. Let's roll these five dice I'm down to. Two purples again. So. I need to get the other yellow away from the... I need to use that green one up. And I would need to put an orange there. So... Good place to purples. The yellow can't be laid down right now. The blue is no good. Red is no good. I could change a face. I don't think that's very strong at this moment. So I'm going to add the purples to the board. I think I'm going to add the purples to the board. And then I'm going to add the red up here. So let's just make this a two. And then we'll add purples wherever I need them. So. Oh, this is even better. Put a green there. 
a green there, and an area of the orange. So I'm going to put down a purple up here. And another purple here. And then, since I need to clear this out for a green, I'm going to use this purple here. And draw one of these. And I'm going to score the two points. Okay. We're chugging along. Four turns left. Double orange. Oh, double red finally showed up. And a purple. I got the reds on the board that I want. But if I can get another... If I can get another yellow down, well, I only need three of each, so that's not that important. I do need orange, oranges down, but I do need to use up both those greens. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of work for three points. Wow. And I don't even know if those other greens are going to come. Okay. So, how should I do this? So I'm going to add that, the reds here, so I'll have four. And then I'll place the orange. So I need an orange here. And then I'll just put the other orange up here. And filling in the diagonal will get me a green. I'll put that green right here. Now, I can use that orange that I just had. Take this orange off. And that'll allow me to move any what I want. And I'm going to move this green one. This is not part of that chain. I'm going to move that green one to right here. So now I have this. So green, purple, green, 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 orange. Okay. So I've earned the wheelbarrow. And it says move two bits connected by a horizontal line. They must remain connected horizontally when they are moved. So shift. It's worth three points, so that's why I'm taking it. Right now, it's points we need. All right, so that was that turn. Three turns left. And I'm, I need blue and purples connected, and I've got one, two. That wasn't very big on points when I played in the last one anyway, in the last couple times anyways, so... That's a big whatever. All right, I do need to put down these bits, but I need to get a red on the board for big points. Yeah, a red on the board is worth really big points right now. So, I am going to add a purple here to make this a four, because it was a three. Then I'm going to use two of these. So I'll have two left. So I use the purple. I'm going to just change these two to red. And I'm going to place the reds. So I'm going to put one red here. I'll just put the other red over here. I'm shooting for, I'm, ang I'm trying to angle for three more points here, I guess. So, silly. Okay, I'm going to use a green. Because this needs to become a yellow.
and draw three green cards. One, two, three. And just hope you get really, really lucky. I mean, really lucky. Okay, I don't have two red. That's not even going to happen. That's not going to happen. Four purples in a row. A green and a yellow. A green and a yellow. No four purples there. So, whatever. I'll just take that one. No penalties for having too many. So, that's fine. Um, I would need to get lucky here and get another two. But I don't think that's going to happen either. So... That was my ability, was looking at those. Oh, great. So we're moving on to the second to last round. We'll roll these up. Two greens I did not need. A yellow I do need. The yellow one I want to place. Filling the board is worth six. Can I fill a board in two turns? I cannot. So I'll just add the red to make this a three. Watch out, here comes a giant three. Actually, no, I won't do the giant three. I'm going to just do a two. And then I'm going to YOLO and just add two to the green because that's worth more points right now. And then put the yellow here. And then clear out this green hope for magic two purple only two purples there so that's not going to happen two yellow blues nope and a lot of orange nope okay so those are just going in the pi that pile of mess all right and so let's go to the last turn really not happy with my play here so it is what it is um i'm gonna score the three blues up here very important i'm going to i have enough of every color on here I've got at least four greens I've got at least four yellows so that doesn't matter but i will place a yellow one wherever i want which would be right here and then, um, wait a second, did I do something wrong? I thought I was going to place a bit. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to place the yellow here. There's a little green left, so I made blue, which is funny. And then my last ability, I'm going to use the yellow ability, which I don't think you've seen yet. So it's going to erase, you take the yellow and change it into whatever you want. So I'm changing into orange. That way I can just score three more points. That's it. All right, and that's the end of the game. So now we tally up. The first thing we tally up, let me mark off my last day just so it's official. First thing we do is tell up the solo board. So we've got seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 points. 12 points for the solo board. Now we do this column. So for my inspiration, everything, every connected uh, blue and purple. So we just got one, two. That's it for that. So two points. Now green card scores. That's the ones we wanted. That was the magic. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Pretty big points there. I think that's the most I've ever gotten in one column. Blue cards, so those are all worth three each, so that's six. And then purple cards, we've got four points. I did not get anything for that. Now we go to the trophies, which is the big money. So points on purple cards, we've only got four. That'll score us three points on the little first little award. Now um, sets of all six colors. So I always just look for the lowest number I have. So I think it was always like reds and yellows so one two three four reds one two three four yellows one two three four orange one two three four green one two three four blue so we've got more than three sets of of that so we get the 10 points there that's nice and then um for completing green cards five or more which we did we got 25 points even without me trying to 
abuse the system. Wait, that was a blue card anyways. That wouldn't have even counted. Ignore that the whole way. Anyways, that's another 10. So we've got 23, 27, um... It's 35 and 60. So, very low game for me. So, 60 there, and that makes this 72. And we have to look at the handy dandy chart on the back page. 72 amateur. The highest I've ever gotten in out of the three times I've played is. 81 professional so it didn't end up being as bad as i thought um the game has a very slow start it feels like it will punish you especially the yellow and the orange if you don't feed into that um and then yeah losing not getting an engine up and running it's kind of a bummer i still had something going with um the green cards so that was nice and that's probably what saved me from being really at the lowest tier but i was I was knocking on the door of professional 72 trying to get to 75 and there might have been something small I could have manipulated here. I used up a lot of bits. I could have had the board filled in that could have pushed me over. But um, overall, I, I do like it. It's fun, but I'm not going to have the urge to play this game much in the future. But thanks for watching.